Hello, my superstar second graders. Welcome to a two week project where we will be color mixing the three primary colors to get all six of our rainbow colors, which is amazing and science and it's a lot of fun and pretty exciting to see those colors mix. All right, hopefully you could press on my three balloons, my primary color balloons on my site, uh, my canvas page. If it did not go anywhere and it said you cannot see this video, it's a video called Three Primary Colors by a group called OK Go. And it's on Sesame Street, so I promise you it's okay to watch. Um, it's really great and it'll help you remember and get a catchy song in your head of how to mix our colors. All right, so I've got all kinds of things to help you realize how colors mix. Um, remember, this is a two-week project, and I'm just going to get you about halfway there today. Okay, so the three primary colors, red, yellow, blue. These cannot be made or created. You have to buy these at the store. And then from these three colors, you can create any color uh, in the rainbow. And then to even add more interesting colors, you just have to add a little black or a little white to create all the colors. So um, here, red and yellow. I used my markers and I got this orange yellow and blue together, and I got green. Blue and red, I got purple. Okay, right now you're like, what in the world? That is crazy. Okay, so these two colors, these primary colors, the, they create that color in between them. Okay, so here's like math of how to do it. Red plus yellow equals orange. Blue and yellow make green. Blue and red make purple. Okay, that's also in that song, if you got to watch that song. And then here you can really see it with watercolors. Here's blue, here's red. I mixed them together and I got purple. Here's blue, here's yellow, I mixed them together, I got green. Here's red, here's yellow, I mixed them together, I got orange. All right, that is amazing and it's real. Okay, so the only three colors you're going to use today are, you tell me, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, even if, here's oil pastels. I've even used oil pastels. Red and yellow make orange. Yellow and blue make green. Red and blue make purple. Okay, so this one was done with watercolors. And that's what I'm gonna do today. This is what you're going to start with for your project. You need a blank piece of paper. Ta -da. You need a circular, little smaller cup. Look at this little Dixie cup. So something that will give you a good circle. Guess what? If you don't have something to make a perfect circle, I don't even care. But this will help you. So if you need to freeze right now and go get primary colors in markers or primary colors with oil, uh, watercolors or primary colors with oil pastel or crayon, They'll all work. Grab those, grab a blank piece of paper, grab some circular cup, and hopefully a Sharpie. Um, or just a pencil is fine too. Okay, when you've got those, come on back. All right, you're ready to go. So, what I'm gonna have you do is, got your blank paper. You're going to make this cup into six circles, just like this page. Okay, so you put your little cup down, you trace the circle. But you can have them all kind of mixed up so they all fit on the page. This is kind of like going down, almost like a centipede. It's just kind of trickling down there. So you take that cup that you could fit on there six times. If you want to go up and down, that's great too. We've got this. That was a bigger cup, but it's the same idea. Okay, so now here's the exciting part. We know the rainbow sequence, Roy G. Biv. Um, so red, orange, yellow, green, not indigo, blue, and not violet. We're gonna go with P for purple. 
which is also, if you happen to have a paint set, the exact order of your paint set. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, um, so you need six circles for the six colors of the rainbow that you are going to create. All right, so we've got our primary colors. Those you can't create, you have to buy those. So even if you just had three color markers, boom, you could create those other colors, your secondary colors. All right, I'm gonna use watercolor. So I also did a little cheat. You don't have to do all this. This is all my cool stuff to help you figure out how to make the right color. But you might wanna write in the first one red, the next one orange, next one yellow, next one G green, B blue, P purple, just to help you remember where you are. Okay, so the only paint colors I'm gonna to use today, you don't have to use paint, you can use whatever you want. I'm only gonna use red, woo, skip a color, yellow, woo, skip a color, blue, woo, and then you skip and go all the way back to red. Okay, remember it's a color wheel. It just keeps going round and round and round and round, just like your snails you made when you were in first grade. It just goes round and round and round and round. Okay, red. So red is my first color in Roy G. Biv. So there I go, I paint that red. Now I'm gonna do something a little sneaky. Do it fast. I know my next one, oh, orange, has red in it too. All right, we've got this little cheat sheet. If you need to go back and cheat, check that out or pause it on that. There you go, there's all your colors. Um, so I know that needs that too. Now what other color needs red? Red needs red, obviously. Orange needs red, and I hope you said purple. So we're gonna go all the way down to the end, peep or purple, because remember, it's a color wheel and just keeps going round and round and round. All right, okay. Dip, 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 I'm done with red. Zip that brush, get it nice and clean, or move on to your marker. Now, I've got yellow, red, skip a color, yellow. Obviously, color in yellow, yellow. Easy. Now, I'm gonna color in orange too. Look at that. Oh, I immediately start seeing orange because red and yellow make orange. Look at that, gorgeous. Okay, dip, dip, dip. Now, I'm gonna put, yellow needs to go into one more spot. Anybody else know what it's gonna be in? It's gonna be in green, right next to it, right? That makes sense. Okay, so I just paint that in really fast. Now I really gotta dip. Isn't that amazing how that orange came through? All right, dip, dip, dip. What's my last color I'm gonna use? Correct, blue. Red, yellow, blue, my primary colors. All right, so obviously B, blue. All right, what other ones am I gonna paint blue? Let me get a little more blue in there. Beautiful blue. All right, so what am I gonna go to? It's two little next door neighbors, yes. I'm gonna create green, yellow, and blue make green. Isn't that wild? Instantly. Now I gotta dip, 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 or I'm gonna be really sad, because then I'm gonna have all kinds of crazy colors in my purple. So I'm just gonna re-dip into my blue, and look at this. We're making purple. Isn't that pretty? So there we go. There is our beautiful rainbow that we created. Six colors that we created from just three colors, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, so this is all I need from you this week. And then next week, we're gonna do something really fun and make some really fun little personalities to go with these colors. All right, enjoy and hold on to this papers next week. Okay, see you then.